So in this video, I'm trying to download and install Symantec Endpoint Protection. I was able to get uh, like sign up for it uh, from my host computer. I don't know why it's taking. It's not logging me in on the virtual machine. It's saying something, waiting or something. So let's wait this out and see what's happened. Oh, it did. So I'm in. Uh, welcome to. All right. So hopefully, endpoint security. Mm, try it now. Let's click over here. Oh, it's slow on a virtual machine. The the website. Uh, search for end point let's see if we're able to search for it anything happening uh, the website response is uh, quite slow oh it's endpoint induction protection VDI and cloud mobile mobile devices apprentices Android OS mobile attacks business small business edition uh, we should go with the <laughs> so I don't know if I go with this or this let's go with enterprise loading there free trial get the endpoint security enterprise is oh okay when I when you click on it it opens a new web page for some to let you view the terms and condition I think dismiss new features available let's dismiss it endpoint security 9 high priority task okay activate subscription I think it's a web based uh, um my task quick setup settings take the tour agent installation package download summary next steps should we go with all that there's no audio for us so next windows workstation configure agents agent redistribution redistributable installation packages delayed restore mm, okay next i think we have to go through the steps to get the endpoint downloaded client browser default Yep, let's keep everything default or secure connection. What is it? 
that's not letting me protection feature let's download it just like it what is inserting in subscriptions security it's a trial let's see what we got here agent package let's run it let's create package yeah downloading <laughs> finish to access your download for downloaded files click here and agent install agent deployment we might have to fire up all our machines let's uh, fire up windows 10 connect <coughs> So, I hate long videos, um, but uh, I think this will be a long video. So, maybe only I will watch it. Okay. Let's fire up that video and now we can say close it down. Where is the oh we got them. We had that message somewhere about agent package deployment agent install. Okay. Let's go with the installation. I still have to make video about this cool thing in the password will expire tomorrow no don't password should never expire I need to go and change that setting as well active directory users Simon thick and find protection is going where is Where is Trump? Trump right there. Properties. <coughs> Count. Let's get never expire supply. Same should be true for Mr. Clinton. Same should be Mr. Obama. Aslan and let's see if we can do this together. Account. Yep. Oh, I can do that. Okay. happened to my semantic so there's no icon over here okay so right there semantic so let's go to so if it's there scan for threats let's scan run active scan let's do that too. one to two minutes so it's completed it's saying 
cookie just on cookie detected so it runs in the background it seems like uh, change setting view quarantine view logs live updates Complete good so spyware protection exceptions what are the settings let's go and see do we see it in subscription life lock what is new product updates domain management right there i'm on local domain list what is it create domain <coughs> Domain management like uh, is it under here? Local nothing. So it's under test bed. <coughs> There's one more. I think you have to download. Oh, it got downloaded against the test pad. So that's when you all see all these things. Quick setup. We we'll click on this. Take the tour. Download summary. Next steps. <coughs> Next. Launch SCP Mobile. Agents, monitor device list. Uh, <coughs> protect mobile devices. Go to my tasks, all that. Let's hit uh, next. Go to dashboard. Okay. So I think it got the, this one. Device security status, right? Total devices, one, and that is secured. So. <coughs> So that is correct. Um, everything is web based, and I think it says that endpoint security. Uh, let's click here SCP 14.2 suspicious, suspicious detection by density, <coughs> risk, anti malware, firewall, device control. <coughs> So what is this devices? <coughs> oh, so it will <coughs> server nineteen. It got my name. It got everything. So that's good. So let's go and deploy it. Can we deploy it? Is there a way to deploy it uh, through Symantec or okay mm, server like manage device type workstations form factor physical device can I grow it bigger so I don't have to all right a little bit better so I don't have to do that policies <coughs> policies is basically that you can these are the default policies you can add them out like uh, allow or block and whatever you want to do you can do through these uh, uh, you see the box when you click that for example you want to allow wireless you don't want to then you can <coughs> save policy <coughs> so alerts and events is that whatever happened and you have any, any critical alerts or you have any warnings and all that errors <coughs> SCS. so these are all the reports 
about uh, but it, uh, it more more likely a log file so it's uh, for system admins or more likely for a uh, network or, or security analyst so you can I think you can um, download them or get uh, or it's uh, like you can sort them out what the format is <coughs> integration <clears throat> so you can for devices that are not in the domain yet you can do that installation packages so you can get the installation packages from here so this and this this is device discovery like if you click here it gonna dis discover all the devices that's running this um, our uh, the semantic uh, but these two they look very interesting I think this is an installation package that you can actually download and this one is the email domains like uh, you can email a link and uh, on that computer user can download it it's for like you are given a laptop to <coughs> somebody who works and they get to keep the laptop and they don't have the security and you can just or <coughs> somebody reimaged it uh, in a remote location and they want this so you can email that when and it's exactly the same the installation package we can get that for what device I Android iOS Linux Mac everything is supported richly Windows 10 <coughs> we should have gotten that server for the server we I think we got the workstation 64 bit so that uh, is a mistake we did require subscription for servers all right <coughs> Free trial and does it say server somewhere? Nope. So <coughs> endpoint security. Let's go and uh Let's see that was the agent deployment over there uh, in this folder let's play with that one this one mm, agent deployment agent setup and then we have a deployment as well chain location create package ah. <coughs> so I wonder if this and this is the same like these two this is deployment click here okay agent deployment install installation <coughs> uh, MST file is right there agent package mm. let's see <coughs> if we can deploy it the <coughs> what is it server and uh, with PDQ if you remember we did the PDQ thing let's see are we able to deploy it agent deployment <coughs> are we deploy with PDQ deploy so we never tried right clicking PDQ deploy let's uh, now we get to uh, do that so if you remember uh, we had to command line we can custom it and we get to normally the s is the silent install and new step save we can save it and we should name it um, 
assignment tag agent <coughs> and we can save it and it's gonna close out that's it and now <coughs> let's deploy it one deploy once and get the target from active directory and windows 10 is up and running right now let's get that and deploy now <coughs> And see what happens so it says connecting failed <coughs> so it says fail access denied fail to connect to target share <coughs> But Windows security. So that that's a bummer. Deploy edit package. <coughs> what? Gen deployment. Deploy what? PDQ. <coughs> And we deploy it through here. <coughs> nope, does not look like. So it has to be through here. So let's deploy this one. Are we able to? Come on, line. <coughs> custom. Let's make this custom and see do we have an S slash S there? <coughs> let's just uh, Simon take uh, deploy once this one new package again we have to choose the computer that is going to be Windows 10 okay deploy now and that is Windows 10 right there <coughs> So the last one was failed because it was unable to connect, I guess. <coughs> failed. Access denied. Failed to connect to target share. Uh, what is the username here? Deployment. Full details. options credentials deploy edit credentials <coughs> add credentials let's give it administrator <coughs> test credentials server test successful okay and go with this one set as default <coughs> close and let's try it one more time redeploy and no we're gonna go with the oh there was to administrator deploy now and see what happened <coughs> are we able to So by 20 second it errors out uh, <coughs> running so success so that was the error was with the deploy account I think and deployment failed one step output log MSI error unknown error we can go and check if it's there no not yet I think we can go to semantic agent we can try to redeploy it <coughs> and this time use the administrator and now see what happens running that was quick this time it was much quick fail return error code 3 
is it there nope <coughs> and we are unable to deploy let's restart and see what happens is it there or not <coughs> So we are unable to deploy it regardless and Symantec downloads <coughs> Symantec x64 agent package is this Trump is back <coughs> Is it there? Nope. Let's click Symantec. Agent package is there. And nothing in the agent package. How is it in there? Download Symantec. Nothing. Windows 10 server <coughs> agent install agent setup <coughs> this is really When we click on installation packages, <coughs> redistributables. So I want to say that uh, <coughs> okay one thing we never tried we never tried the where is Simon Tech now it's gone <coughs> see program files not in here in x86 oh it is it is an x86 okay where was <coughs> interestingly <coughs> so super user and all that let's documents no pictures 3d objects c users administrator <coughs> Downloads. I think it was in downloads. When you see public download semantic and public downloads. Okay. S
no public download Simon tech right there <coughs> How about we deploy this one? Make it custom slash s. <coughs> We're gonna conditions. Where is the credentials? Um, let's. Okay. <coughs> All right, sorry about that. I got a call. Uh, let's uh, name it Simon Tech One. Step is uh, just save it. Let's deploy it. Imran dot administrator. Choose target. Computers. Windows Ten. Let's see what happens now. Deploy now. Connecting, running. <coughs> Return error code one. <laughs> Simon, take folders. So it get the folder, but it does not get installed. <coughs> Okay, I am out of ideas. Where are we? <clears throat> so there's only one other thing that I can think of and that is not feasible. Uh, like uh, I can copy the folder in a share folder and run it from over there, but I really wanted to dis uh, run it I'm guessing it has something to do with the MST file or something let's delete the MST file only <coughs> and then um, run the create package let's create a package again Finish help center client installation information. So we ha I have to go and dig up the help center help client installation <coughs> client okay so this was only the agent uh, so agent is on this one client running commands on client devices deploying clients on managed devices client application nope back to Mind and restart type and setting.
photo. Manage devices. Installation package. Let's go to administrator and it says go to <coughs> installation packages, show more and silent. Okay. Run them. Size group change default agent So it looks like that you have to send an email uh, and then they can download on uh, but uh, we wanted to deploy it uh, ourselves we don't want to rely on um, clients Yep. So we don't want uh, them to install. We want to install it for them and make sure that it's uh, uh, running there. Windows security action. Maybe it turn on. So what if it's the firewall? right this firewall that's preventing our semantic endpoint to um, error code one let's check semantic error code one uh, Okay, I got uh, something. I just thought of something, but before that, I want to see error code one. One, this article do I restore to complete? It did give me that. And after that, did we restart it? No. So restart it. And let's see. So when we got the error code one, uh, that meant that install required restart to complete an unexpected error so we got the three and one so if we go our mm, server and pdq i hope failed this time it's over here it's failed for new package uh, output log msi error unknown error i did get error code three Access denied. New package. 
target share and then error code 1603 that's not it some empty one error code one right there that was the last one let's see if it is there and that was the one uh, server uh, on server what we ran uh, can we check edit import exports delete item appearance open let's see open so agent install so we did the uh, this one so we get, did the agent install thing let's see if Symantec is there nope oh, I got excited for no reason Symantec nothing there uh, if nothing there I can try one more thing like if it, if it only required an restart mm -hmm. is it appearing here in the devices <coughs> nope in what installation packages So uh, it's not here. Is there any refresh or something? So what I'm thinking is, what I thought that uh, maybe it's like a hidden semantic thing, and but since. Uh, not there is there a way to refresh this page yes right there still server oh okay all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the another installation package and this time I'm gonna get the whole thing and let's see if we are able to deploy the whole thing and not uh, this like setup and all that this is my last try yeah if it fails i will have to go and search uh, or ask somebody what's really going on uh, open show in folder agent package agent package agent s agent setup so this one is 3.76 and this one is they're exactly the same so if they are the same and when we go over here the agent setup It's killing me. Can we search deploy? Let's uh, see if I can copy paste it into here, and I can. 
so I can hear the audio now. I'm gonna pause this video here. All right, so at this point, agent package, agent setup. Let's deploy this one. PDQ new package. Let's save it. I'm not even bothering to name it something. Close it. Let's go. New package. Deploy once. Target. Computer. Windows 10. Okay. Let's get the error in. Error code 3, unexpected error. I'm gonna give it another sh try. This time, I'm gonna turn off the, let's see, firewall. Windows Defender Firewall, turn it off. On or off. Turn on. Let's see. Now since it's been off, let's try that deployment one more one last time before we call this call out this video. We get the error code one here. So we know this one was the good one. Deploy once. And or oh, redeploy. Let's try redeploy. Deploy. Errors, error code one. In that case, let's restart it. And while we have done that, let's go and see, do we discover any devices? No, select discovery agent, no data is available. Okay, cancel, refresh, refresh. So it did not work, clearly it did not work. Um, search Symantec agent package and setup.dat this time we managed to get uh, another file just another so failed deploy once choose target windows 10 and deploy fail again computer service manager all right so let's call uh, of this video a failure I will go and try to find what's going on how we can do that it's a disappointment
Alright, bye.